Hello everyone, hello YouTube, welcome to another TaylorMade tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be covering a request for a tutorial actually from a YouTube user called Sorin1995. Uh, he sent me a personal message, as you can see here, um, asking for a tutorial on how to broadcast live over Radionomy using Sam Broadcaster. <clears throat> so for you Sorin, I'm going to do that. Uh, if you're not familiar on what Radionomy is, click the annotation on screen now and it will take you to part one of my previous tutorial on how to set up your own Radionomy radio station online. Uh, it's very cool and well worth a look so click that. Uh, but this tutorial isn't only about Radionomy, this can show you how to broadcast using any online server so keep watching even if you don't use Radionomy. Uh, for example, this works whether you're streaming with Shoutcast, Live365, Icecast, uh, or any other server, as long as you have your access details. Um, but we'll come on to that. So, first thing you need to do is download Sam Broadcaster. To do that, we'll just search Sam, oh, Sam Broadcaster 4. That's the latest one. Uh, Special Audio Solutions is the company that released this software. Uh, this is a Sam Broadcaster page, so I'll click that. As you can see, I've already been there. Uh, this is not free. Uh, it's a not free, people. You do have to buy it. And as you can see, it's not cheap either. But um, there are videos on a certain video website showing how to get this software for free. Whether you choose to use that or not, that's down to you. This, as you can see here, is the site to download it legitimately. Um, so, however you choose to download it, that's up to you. But once you have and installed it all, you should get something looking like this. So, open that up. We'll have a look at what you get going to get something looking like this. So this is obviously your deck to play your different music, mic, we'll go through all that. The first thing you need to do is tell where you want Sam Broadcaster to send the audio and the way you do that is using encoders. So click the plus button to add a new encoder. Uh, you get this. These are your different types of encoders. You want MP3 normal for Radionomy and Shoutcast and most of the ones you want MP3 normal. So click that. Okay, so you're on your way to setting up your encoder. Here's your quality. Obviously it's up to you there. To be honest, I haven't really noticed that much difference. Um, Faster sampling is probably going to be quicker if you've got slow internet, high quality if you've got higher internet. It's up to you. Um, format, this is very important. Um, for radionomy, you want, where is it, this option here. 128 kilobytes per second, 44.1 kilohertz stereo. The important thing here is not to exceed your server's limit. Um, for example, if your server's limit was uh, 96 kilobytes per second, you went with 128 kilobytes per second, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't connect. So you can find out that. But I know for radionomy, 128 kilobytes per second, 54.1 kilohertz stereo. That's the one you want. So make sure you've got that selected, you can see it here as well. General options, you can leave them as they are, don't really need that. You can just click play to make sure you're not broadcasting when you're not meant to be. Uh, that's a good idea if your encoder ever disconnects. You've got that uh, auto reconnect after 15 seconds, so that's good. Okay, complicated bit, server details. Not actually that complicated to be honest. Um, for radionomy, here you've got three different server types. For radionomy, you want Shoutcast. Obviously, if you're using Shoutcast, you want Shoutcast as well. But for radionomy, it's the same server type, you want the Shoutcast server type. 
if you're using Live 365, obviously you just put your username in there and your password. Um, Icecast, I'm not that familiar with, to be honest with you. Seems pretty easy. Same thing. Server IP, port, password. And we'll look at those for the Shoutcast one. Radionomy. So, server IP. Where do you get this information from? Well, if you've seen my previous tutorials on setting up your Radionomy account, uh, you should be familiar with your. Oops, sorry, zoomed in. Uh, with your Radionomy producers page. So once you've made your radio, your online radio, uh, have a look at the previous tutorial if you're not sure how to do that yet. Come to your Radionomy producers page. Um, scroll down to Radionomy Live Beta. This is where you get your information from. So expand this. You are you are. It's called URL here. It's your server IP. Same thing. Highlight all of this. I've blurred out my numbers here just for security. Uh, copy everything that's in that box. Make sure you don't get any spaces either side. Copy all of that and put it into your server IP. So what was it? I'm just making that number up. Um, I'm going to have something like that. Yep, so just copy and paste that in. I'm just typing it in. Then you copy, and copy your server part. Whatever that might be there, just copy that in. And then your password, your radio manager password, your account password. So just put that in there. The important thing though for your password, if you have ever changed your password for your account, your server, the password for your server is the password you set your account up with, your first password. Make sure, because it doesn't change your server password, so make sure that's your first password. So type that in, whatever that might be. Um, these numbers won't necessarily be the same, that's just how that's come out. Whatever that number's going to be. Um, radio name, type that in there. Choose your genre, whatever your website is, if you've got one, just type that in. Uh, leave these the same, don't want to be messing with these really. Server archive, that's just to save what you want to save your stream to a file if you want to download it with like podcasts and download your shows later. You can choose whether to do that or not, I don't. Um, so that's where you get that from, click OK. And there we go, that's your encoder. Um, I'm running out of time, uh, sadly, so uh, we'll go through all of what this is and how to start your encoder and everything in the next tutorial. Uh, just click the annotation now. Um, it'll take you straight there and we'll carry on from where we left off. Thank you, uh, see you in a second.